Why do we love ACC so much? Because it grants us 26 different cars that all race in the same category. The only problem is that this overwhelming number can easily intimidate new drivers. What should you choose? What is a good first car to learn the ins and outs of the sim? Don't worry, I asked our beautiful little bit ACC fanatic community what the best cars for beginners are and even got an answer from an eSports pro. So what are we waiting for? Here are the best 5 cars for beginners in Assetto Corsa Competizione. Welcome back to Overtake.gg, my name is Champion Joe and today we grant a helping hand to all the new players that want to find their perfect ride for ACC in 2022. And the year is crucial, because the game has changed a lot since its early days. Just like in the real sport, the cars have evolved over time, rendering many of the available cars in ACC inferior. So only if you're looking for a challenge or you like old rides, should you consider cars like the Jaguar, McLaren 650S or the Writer Engineering REX. Those cars spot inferior electronics like old traction control systems, which make them overall slower and harder to drive. Instead, focus on the new models. The 2020 and 2021 season with their many Evo cars are what you should focus on. But let's finally start with our list and our number 5, the Bruiser, the Bentley Continental of 2018. It's big, it's bad, and it eats curves for breakfast. The Bentley is perfect for beginners due to many reasons. First, it's a front-engine car, meaning that most of its weight lies in the front as the engine sits right under the hood. As a result, the Bentley will lose its balance easily when accelerating out of corners, and it has disadvantages of struggling a bit with understeer, so simply put, it's not the most agile in slow corners. The extra weight on the front axle pushes the boat lee outward, which is why it simply doesn't like to steer. In return you have a very quiet and relaxed ride, where you as a beginner can concentrate on the track. Another big plus for the Bentley is its bulkiness and weight when driving over curbs. As said earlier, this machine eats curbs for breakfast. Not having to slow down as much as other cars can be a game changer in high curb chicanes, but the Bentley is arguably the best car of them all. Monza, Imola, Zolder, never fear a high curb chicane ever again. On P4 I have my new personal favorite, of which I think it's one of the easiest cars to drive just because it's so advanced. The new Audi LMS EVO 2, the newest GT3 from the ACC Challengers Pack DLC. This heavenly sounding machine is equipped with the newest electronics you can find. It operates two traction control systems to further enhance the power interference, ABS and engine mappings are top notch and the aero package gives it more drag on long straights, what makes it easier to overtake. It's a mid-engine car, which makes it pointier than the Bentley for example, but due to its advanced electronics, it also offers a really stable drive. It's not that easy to spin in the new Audi as one might think, and that's a good thing for beginners. But there's a big but. At the moment the Audi is so advanced that Kunos gave it some limitations so that it's not overpowered. It's already really fun to drive, but it can't really keep up at the current patch, but this could change at any time, so keep your eyes peeled. Next up on the list we got the stable one, the new BMW M4 GT3. Its biggest weak point is its grill, as opponents could hold a barbecue on it. <laughs> but seriously, do you like the new BMW design? Let me know down in the comments below. But anyhow, when it comes to the driving, the BMW shares a lot of similarities with the Bentley without being as huge as the British boat. It's also a front-engine car, but it also keeps more grip through slower turns, which makes it a fast competitor on track. The M4 might not be as stable over curbs as the Bentley, but compared to cars like the McLaren, Porsche or the Ferrari, it handles them like a pro. So if you like the new design and you are searching for a stable drive, the BMW could potentially be a good choice. But when it comes to all-rounders, one car stands out of the crowd. 
Of course, I'm talking about the Aston Martin Vantage. Good looking, good sounding. And one of the easiest cars to drive and one of the quickest as well. A few months back, before patch 1.8, where the Aston got nerfed, this was THE car to drive. Everyone was using it. And even my slow was able to achieve a 219 on Spa back then with this rocket ship. Now it's more of a top 5, top 7 car, but it's still incredibly easy to maneuver to get to the limit. This car lets you focus on what's really important. Apexes and exits, fair fighting on track and pushing yourself to your limit without having to tame a wild bull. This also front engine car is the perfect all-rounder for every track, every occasion and every weather situation possible and was also the most voted car from the community in our polls. But for P1 we go with the opinion of a sim racing professional. Niels Naujoks was a guest multiple times on our channel in the past and hosted our Heroes Journey series where he coached Counter-Strike caster James Bardolf in F121. If that sounds interesting to you, you can find the first episode in the top right, but back to ACC. Niels thinks that the McLaren 720S is the current reigning king of beginner cars in ACC. And I can understand his claims that the 720S has the biggest tolerance for wrong inputs, the smoothest electronics and is ridiculously predictable. This car is the new best ride in the game at the moment. Most players choose the McLaren online lobbies as it is easier to drive than all other mid-engine cars while being one of the fastest cars in every category. It's fast in slow corners, good in high downforce passages and can stand its ground on long straights as well. Maybe high curbing can bring some fear into the eyes of McLaren drivers but due to its maneuverability these can also be easily bypassed. At the end the McLaren might not be as easy as the Aston Martin but with some time and training it is surely the best choice to hit the ground running in early 2022. Do you want to win a Thrustmaster T300 RS GT edition? Yes? Then we got something for you. Since Monday the 11th we were hiding easter eggs on our Twitter, Instagram and YouTube channel. And if you can count the total number of eggs and comment it under this video and follow us here on YouTube, you can win this Thrustmaster T300 RS GT Edition. The giveaway runs until the 20th of April and the winner will be contacted via the comments. The conditions of the competition can be found in the video description. Good luck! And that's it for the list. Let me know if you missed something. And if you need more ACC action, go and check out our introduction on setups from Shardia. But that's everything from me today. Thank you for tuning in and see you next time around. Cheers!